first story is in the Daily Express. Chancellor told it's not too late for a U-turn on winter fuel. The campaign group Silver Voices delivered a petition of nearly 150,000 names to number 10 yesterday. I mean, it would seem to me that if they change now, so many people would be thrilled to bits. It would transform people's winter. But effectively, the damage has been done in terms of PR and in terms of the way people regard the party. I wonder what you think. So I actually think they could... I don't think they should reverse it entirely because I, I don't think it's right that everyone gets it. But I actually think this could be an opportunity for them to have what's, you know, the service recovery paradox. They could actually show people, do you know what? We listened. We got this wrong and we're going to work with experts, for example, say like Martin Lewis, the money-saving expert, who talks about the way that Labour have done this is too narrow. It will, there will be too many people that fall through the net. Labour could actually say, do you know what? We're actually, we're listening. We're not like the last government. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure everyone who is entitled to this, and there's about 800,000 people who would qualify if they had the support to sign up. Um, we're going to make sure they're all signed up and then we're going to look at maybe looking at council tax bans as a sort of proxy to make sure the right people get this rather than this sort of you know, very sort of blunt approach, which is going to hurt people. So I think it could be an opportunity. That said, not everyone should get it. I think it's a terrible, terrible waste of money for very rich people to get it. Albie, I mean, the, the message has gone out loudly and clearly already. Some people think it's done irreparable damage to the reputation of the Labour Party and the government. Others think it's a, a, a necessary measure because it's absurd, isn't it, for Mick Jagger and the King to get the winter fuel allowance. So do you think the time is ripe for a reversal or do you think that just looks weak? No, I mean, I support the policy in principle, but the issue with the Labour Party is they've really dug their own grave with this. They came up with this £22 billion back black hole figure and then said, we're desperately going to try and do everything possible to fill it because this is such a serious situation that if we don't fill it, the debt markets are going to go mad again like under Liz Truss. So they almost have to make drastic measures like this in order to make up that delta between government expenditure and the amount of tax that the government takes every year because there's this £22 billion black hole. So in other words, to reverse would be simply wrong, wouldn't make any sense? Well, it would mean their entire argument about this £22 billion black hole and how serious it is becomes a less serious argument because if that is your serious issue... You've got to do everything possible in order to fill that. Mm -hmm. And this is just one measure that's going to fill that black hole. I, I disagree. I think there is still a black hole that needs to be filled, but I think it would show that they're being sensible and saying, do you know what, we shouldn't be going after people who literally can't heat their homes. And I'm not talking about continuing to... I think they can heat their homes. Some can and some can't. We, like, we understand there is that there are some people who will fall through in it who genuinely can't. Um, but I think this should be a wake-up call for Labour to go, do you know what, people are seeing this. Is, this we are impacting people that need our, need our help. We need to be bold and go after those with the broadest shoulders. And by the way, I don't mean most of you watching. I mean the people who have got assets of over, say, £10 million. Those are the people who can afford it. And uh, I think Labour, if they, if they don't do something bold like this, they'll, they'll have one term. Yeah, I disagree. Let's move on. Let's move on to the mail.